In this video, we are going to look into state and country pick list and how to configure state and country pick list in Salesforce. <clears throat> what is the need for state and country pick list? Now, state and country pick list will enable you to maintain the data in an accurate format. So normally in Salesforce, we used to create records, the records in the, which is related with the you know, important information, right? So when the data is inconsistent or inaccurate, it can cause considerable impact on organization efficiency, right? So Salesforce provides many features to validate and standardize data entered by user. For example, you have a validation rule, right? What is the purpose of validation rule? Validation rule makes sure that the user enters valid or proper data uh, format, right? So in that way, state and country pick list also, uh, you know, were helpful for us you know, in the way we are configuring the, you know, state and country. For example, there is a record in that record, you know, you have an address field. In that address field, you need to enter a state or you need to enter a country. For example, you need to enter a country. Normally in the address field, if you look at it, it will be a text format, right? So let me quickly go to your record and see, this is the contact object record. Let me try to open this. If I look at it, uh, this is the mailing address, right? So let me try to edit this. When I try to edit this in the mailing country, I could able to see that it's an United States and it is a text box. So being a text box, chances are there, a user may enter US or other user may enter USA or some other user may enter as United States or someone may you know um, give it something whatever they want, right? So this may not be entertained as far as the data accuracy is concerned. So it will be a better way instead of having a text ball text box if there is a pick list it will help us a lot in maintaining the data accuracy that is what the purpose of state and country pick list okay now we will look into how to configure a state and country pick list so uh, let me go to the setup and the setup if you are going to type state and country pick list means it will take you to this particular configuration page okay it involves a couple of steps. First, there will be an option called configure state countries and territories. Okay. If you open that, it will consist of predefined state and country pick list, which is available, you know, with the Salesforce. Salesforce has predefined states information and it has predefined country information also. If you look at that, you will be having all the countries associated with country or territory code. If you want to add a new country, you can able to add that. You can click the new country, which is not available in the Salesforce default set. If you want to add a country, you can add a new country here and its integration value as well as its active and visible options. You can select that, okay. In the similar way, if you want to edit any existing country, information means you can still edit that. Okay, let me go to India and let's open that and let's see how it looks like. Let me scroll down to India. Let me edit this country information. If I went inside, I could able to see the country information or territory information as well as the state information. So what are the states available with you know India? I can able to see this here, right? This is the predefined set. Suppose sometimes there is a new you know state might be introduced. If that is the case, you need to you know add this new state into this pick list value, right? If that is the case, you can simply edit the country information and inside the country information, if you want to add a new state, you can add a new state. If you click the new state button, it will give you the state name and it will give you the option to enter the state code as well as the integration value. You can able to do that. In that way, you can configure a new country or you can edit the existing country information or state information using the first option. This will make sure that you are done with the data. That is the state as well as country data you are done. Once you are satisfied with the data which is available, and then you can go for scan for state and country territory data. What is mean by scan for state and country data? We are going to introduce pick list in the place of country as well as state text boxes, right? So previously that might be, you know, old data might be there, right? Let's say for example, for United States in the pick list, it is called United, it is specified as United States. 
but in the previous record it may be entered as us or usa right first you need to identify what all are the you know validation rules or what all are the you know escalation rules or what all are the list to use records referring this country and state that can be done through scanning so once you complete these three steps then only you know you can able to enable the uh, state and country pick list so it is mandatory you have to complete these steps once you scan the things, then you can convert identified data. Scanning will identify some set of data. So in that data, if you want to map to the pick list value, let's say in my data, in your record, it says that it's US. In the pick list, it is as United States. So I need to map that. The mapping will done in the third step through convert identified data. Once it is done, you are good to configure the things. Let's scan our org let me go for the second option so i'm going to scan this once the scanning process is done it will send you an email it will send actually two emails one email will be the information what all are the you know built-in rules and list use and records referring this country and state field and the second email will be how you can able to map that okay once this is done you can check your inbox let me try to refresh my inbox and let's see i have received you know i could able to see that i could able to see you know two emails are there let me try to open the first email let me so let me go to the first email once i open the first email i could able to see that you know we have a list of information related with this state and country pick list. It has a link to a record too. Let me try to open that. It takes me to a text file. Okay. So this is stored inside my personal documents. Let me open that folder. Now I could be able to see this is the scanning scanned text file, which will consist of all the informations. Let me try to view this and see what all are the informations there. If you look at it, what all are the visual force pages, Apex classes, list views, or you know, escalation rules, which are referring the country as well as state, you can able to see all the entities which are referring that. Okay, so this is a consolidated report. What all are the you know uh, rules or what all are the Apex classes, visual force pages referring state and country. The, you can go through this document and you can get to, get to a conclusion that okay fine these are all the areas we need to replace but what will happen you know if you look at the email in the email you have a second option called second email is also there let me try to open that this is also having a link if i try to open that it will take me to a new page here i could be able to see what all are the countries and states already used in my org how many times they are used in different records or different escalation rules or VF pages, I could able to see the number of occurrences. So as a first step, first you need to create a change list. What is mean by change list? For example, China, what is its correspond? It is already there in my record. Okay, one of my record. How I need to map which, which pick list value I need to map, you need to do that first. Then only this next option will be enabled for you. Let me try to select China and let's map to the country pick list. That is China only, right? So let me try to select that country. I'm going to select that. Save to change list. It will be saved here. At the bottom, you can able to see that there is a change list. I can be able to see change from China to China. So the data is fine. So both look similar. But if you look at US, I need to change this. Let me select this US, USA. This is your wrongly entered data. This is actually for US. So I'm going to select that. Okay. Once I selected these all four options, I'm going to map these values to United States, which is available in my state and country pick list it's a country pick list so i'm going to change it. i'm going to map it to united states let me save this change list uh, this is also changed okay fine so i'm asking salesforce please change this information from us to united states because my country pick list has a value called united states so that's the reason i'm trying to change it to here once all the lists are completed, then only the next button will be enabled. So you have to keep this in mind. France, I need to map it. So France, again, the pick list value is going to be the France only. So I'm happy to select this. Let me go for it. And I, ha I have India. Okay. So in a record, two records, you know, it has specified as IN. 
actually in the country pick list it's going to be india so i need to select that mapping too and i need to save the change list so we are doing the mappings for countries now okay so let me go for japan and japan it's going to be japan only and let me select that mapping also select save to change list okay fine so now only one country left let me try to complete that too okay let me try to complete that too okay fine so i'm done with the change list once all the state mappings are done now i can go for next if i click next now only you know you could able to see that this next option is enabled so i'm going to click the next button now you will be having the state mappings okay state mappings means what all are the records are referring you know how many records are referring the state value how you want to map these values for example usa alaska there is it is referred as yale suppose if you are going to have you know your pick list is going to have a different state value you can map that so once these mappings the state mappings are done then only the next button will be enabled here until then you know the next button will not be enabled now you need to complete the mappings here let me quickly select everything here and i am going to convert quickly i am going to convert everything into a single state since it is a demo video i am going to do like that okay so probably this may not be the case with you you have to be carefully select the things and you need to map it very carefully with the states let me select all these things okay fine up to this any other usa is left let me select this um, this also okay i want to map all these states into your um, uh, you know into your uh, you know into your state called alaska okay so let me select that i am going to map all these states into this pick list value let me try to select this save to change list so my change list has been created for usa usa states now let let's see china is left so let me select all the states uh, these states should be mapped to shanghai so let me search whether i have a shanghai there or not let me search for shanghai yes i could able to see that you know uh, shanghai is there okay fine so instead of that i'm going to select this shangxi so let's we will you know try to map to this so all the chinese you know states are also mapped now i have one more usa left let me select that state value this time i'm going to map to you know let's say florida i'm going to map to florida let's see what we have yes let me try to save this change list okay so previously i have created the change list for my states uh, for my country and now i have created a change list for my states my states change list also done once this list is empty now you get able to see that the next button is enabled let me try to click the next button okay once i click the next button you know you will be having an option called finish and enable a pick list let me try to click this button and now you know if you refresh this page you could able to see that the pick list option is enabled okay so let me refresh this once again and go to my you know uh, record and let's check it out whether we have this time the state and country pick list in the address field let me try to refresh this page and go to the details section in the details section let me go to the mailing address if i click that let me check this time if you look at it you know in the country you could able to see that there is a pick list there in the state i could able to see all the states here okay fine why i'm getting all the states related with the united states before you know before there was a text box now if you look at it mailing country it is going to be united states so previously it was a text box now it's become a country pick list you could able to see that this is the country pick list suppose if you want to change some other country yes you can able to do that let me try to change it to united states for example from united states to india i need to change it change this means still you can able to uh, do that okay fine in the same way let's say select japan and i could able to see all the states you know related related to japan since i don't have any related list with the states you know it's empty let me try to search for india here and yes let me select india here now let me see i could able to see all the states you know which is configured in the state pick list here okay 
in the similar way by you know enabling the state and country pick list for address if you look at it not only for mailing address if you look at the other address also you know still you can able to see that at the countries right so if you go for united states means you can still you can select the united states and you can configure there okay you can select united states now the state also you know states or province also now become your pick list now you can able to select that this will eliminate the data error okay now the uh, data inconsistent will be eliminated the data will be you know in a consistent format no need to write any extra validation rule so this is how you can able to in it enable state and uh, country pick list in your org at any point of time you can disable the state and country pick list if you don't want